Ms. Cortez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I think it's important that we refocus on what is at stake here in this uh, investigation, in this matter. We are getting reports from the press and from a, a wide variety of sources that indicate that, you know, that, that people are, you know, folks are suggesting that we are conducting foreign relations with folks with security clearances via WhatsApp. I mean, every day that we go on without getting to the bottom of this matter is a day that we are putting hundreds, if not potentially thousands of Americans at risk. I mean, really, what is next? Putting nuclear codes in Instagram DMs? This is ridiculous. We need to get to the bottom of this. And in order to do that, we have to issue subpoenas because people in this administration are not cooperating. And every day that there is an insecure line of communication that could be leaked, that could be hacked, that could be screenshotted without, with, without our, uh, proper channels is a day that we are putting our national security at risk. So the reason why we have to conduct and, and have these accommodations is because we are a committee that is committed to protecting whistleblowers. And I do have to commend uh, the ranking member and, and to see the coordination between the ranking member and the chair in a commitment to whistleblowers, not just in respecting them, but in protecting them is really admirable and important. And I wanted to note that because, um, because this, is, this is what protecting whistleblowers looks like when they need a certain accommodation because they, are, they fear retaliation. We have to make accommodations. This committee in particular, as the oversight committee in the House of Representatives, we have a unique responsibility to protect those that have the courage to come out and say when something is wrong, regardless of the administration. Even in prior administrations, it, you know, um, it doesn't matter the party. When something is going wrong in government, when there is overreach, when there is an abuse or, or a misconduct of process, we have an obligation to see and investigate it out. And so I, it is so serious, especially as a New Yorker, especially as, as anyone who cares about the security of what happens on American soil. Every day that we have uh, an insecure line of communication, we have a responsibility to investigate it and to make sure that that is uh, that, that, that we get to the bottom of it. So I, I just needed to, to put that note in, and I yield Would the right. Would you generally yield? Yes. Uh, I just want to just, uh, just add on to what you have said. First, first of all, thank you for your, your, your very uh, eloquent comments. Um, one of the things I want to make clear to the committee is that when there were recommendations uh, uh, against giving these folks security clearances, we got to think about what were the reasons. That's very important. This is not, this is not some lightweight <laughs> stuff here. The disqualifying reasons uh, were uh, involving foreign influence, conflicts of interest, personal or criminal conduct, financial problems. In other words, these were folks who the career people, uh, Ms. Cortez said, I mean, they, they and, and, and by the way, these are people like Ms. Newbold who've been do doing this year after year under Republican and Democratic administrations. And so you're right, we, 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 we take this very seriously as I, I, I think we all do. Um, but it's not enough to take it seriously, we have to act. We have to do what we promised to do when we put up our hands and said we were going to uphold the Constitution and protect the people of these great United States. And so I just wanted to make it clear that this is not some lightweight thing that somebody did back in high school or something. And, but this is, this is major stuff. Uh, and there's a reason why there were uh, this information came forth. And this is a reason why they. Uh, people like Ms. Newbold would recommend not uh, having these people qualified for security clearance. I yield back to the lady. Thank you. And, and I'd also like um, to indicate and, and, and note that some of the folks that 
um, may have insecure, you know, ha had their clearances over overrode or recommendations against giving them the clearance overrode, are even custodial staff. And folks would say, oh, that's not important. That, that overriding a security clearance for a custodial staff is not a big deal. But first of all, every member of this government is important and has access to important information and has power. And especially when we're talking about people that have physical pres presence and access to secure and sensitive physical spaces in the White House, to be, uh, to be potentially compromised is extremely concerning. I thank, I thank the gentlelady, Mr. Heiss.